Hello Volvo enthusiasts, welcome to a new how-to video from Nordicar. In this video, we'll show you how to replace and adjust the breaker points and the capacitor of your B18 or B20 engine. The B18 and B20 are using the Volvo PV544, Amazon, P1800, 140 and even in the early 240 series. It might seem complicated if you've never done this before, but after watching this video, you should be able to easily do it yourself. How do you know if your ignition needs a service? It may be necessary when the engine doesn't run smoothly, when the engine has problems running idle, when the engine has less power. How to make sure you have the right engine in front of you? If you have a B18 or B20, this will be marked on the left side of the engine block, seen from the driver's position. It will be marked B20 at the front of the engine block, or B18 at the back of the engine block. What do we need? A flat screwdriver, a 7 16th inch wrench, a 0.4mm feeler gauge, a new breaker point set, a new capacitor, grease, an oil can, and a tune-up stroboscope. Step 1. Disassembly. First, we'll detach the distributor cap and we'll take off the rotor. We're now able to replace the breaker points and the capacitor. The breaker points wear because of two reasons. Firstly, there's electrical spark wear at the breaker point surface, which also increases with the aging of the capacitor. Secondly, there's mechanical wear at the fibre guiding block due to friction with the distributor axle. We're now going to disassemble the capacitor and the breaker points. Next, we'll clean the axle with a cloth. Take the oil can and drip some oil on top of the distributor axle, the vacuum governor, the bearing on the base plate, and in the oil jar that lubricates the distributor axle. After that, we'll close the oil jar and with a cloth, we'll remove the excess oil. We're now going to check the functioning of the vacuum governor. For this, we'll use a vacuum pump. It's also possible to suck on the hose. The vacuum governor should keep its position after vacuuming. If this isn't the case, the membrane of the vacuum governor is leaking. Here we can see that the vacuum governor keeps its position. We'll now remove the vacuum and we see that the vacuum governor moves back to its standard position. Next, we'll put some grease on the fibre guiding block of the breaker points. Step 2. Mounting and adjusting the breaker points. We're now going to mount the new breaker points. Tighten the bolt in a way that it is still possible to adjust the breaker points. Now turn the engine so that the breaker points are fully opened. The fibre block on the breaker point should be placed on a corner of the axle. We can move the breaker points with a flat screwdriver. If this goes stiff, you'll have to loosen the bolt of the breaker points. If this gives too easily, you'll have to tighten the bolt of the breaker points. We're now going to put the feeler gauge between the breaker points. The feeler gauge should slip through the breaker points. After that, we'll tighten the bolt and we'll use the feeler gauge again to make sure the distance between the breaker points is correct. Step 3. Mounting the capacitor. Take the new capacitor out of the packaging and shove the plastic isolator onto the capacitor support. Next, we'll place the capacitor back on the distributor with a flat screwdriver. Connect the breaker points with the capacitor. Next, we'll place the rotor and the distributor cap back on the ignition. Step 4. Adjusting the ignition. Connect the tune-up stroboscope onto the battery and the spark plug cable of cylinder 1. Every time cylinder 1 sparks, the tune-up stroboscope will flash. If we aim the tune-up stroboscope onto the crankshaft pulley, we'll be able to see the ignition timer on which the engine is adjusted. We can now advance or delay the ignition timing. We'll use a 7 16th inch wrench to loosen the distributor locking bolt. We're now able to rotate the distributor. If you turn the distributor clockwise, you will advance the ignition timing. If you turn the distributor anti-clockwise, you'll delay the ignition timing. Here we see a B20B that has to be adjusted to 10 degrees before ignition. If you have another engine, you can find the adjustment data in the description below this video.
If you've adjusted the ignition, you can tighten the distributor locking bolt again with a 7 16th inch wrench. After that, it's important to check the ignition moment once again with the tune up stroboscope. We're now done replacing and adjusting the breaker points and the capacitor. This is the end of this video. We would like to thank you for watching and wish you success with this replacement job. If you want to see more videos about repairs to classic Volvo cars, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this video.